The forest is precious. One careless act caused by people and its beauty could be gone for a lifetime. Protect our friends in the forest. Only you can prevent wildfires. You're watching Oswego Forest Update. It's Saturday night. You just went out to a party with the girls. The guy in the stunner shades caught your eye. Your roommate's not there, so you bring him back to your room. It never occurred to you that you two might not be alone. Herpes, chlamydia, syphilis, gonorrhea, genital warts, and hepatitis could also be present. A what? <laughs> I'm Sibilus. Can't you tell? This guy's been around. Odd Nature's Goodwill Ambassador Angel. Okay. Safe sex is the best sex, so please use a condom every time. Hey guys, we suffered a little technical difficulties, but as I was saying, the Governor Awards, which is an event hosted by the Academy Awards, uh, begin with the presentation of the Jean Harshold Humanitarian Award for Angelina Jolie, uh, which included an onstage tribute. Jolie's work as a United Nations Goodwill Ambassador and Special Envoy has taken her to over 30 countries, including Rwanda, Tunisia, and Cambodia. While she remains deeply involved with numerous charitable organizations and the establishing of the Maddox Jolie Pitt Foundation, named after her Cambodian-born son, who was seated at her table along with partner Brett, Peer, uh, Brett Pitt, here's a sneak peek of some of the very heartfelt speech she had to say. Let's take a look. I have never understood why some people are lucky enough to be born with the chance that I had to have this path in life and why across the world there's a woman just like me with the same abilities and the same desires, same work ethic and love for her family, who would most likely make better films and better speeches. <laughs> Only she sits in a refugee camp and she has no voice. She worries about what her children will eat how to keep them safe, and if they'll ever be allowed to return home. I don't know why this is my life, and that's hers. Keep going? Okay. I, I don't understand that, but I will do Can you move it really fast asked, up when I get to the I break? Will yeah. okay, do the best you. I can with this life to be of use, and to stand here today means that I did as she asked, and if she were alive, She'd be very proud. So thank you for that. Jolie's moving and emotional speech on the stage was full of deep thanks to her family at her table and particular dedication to her late mother, who gave her every chance to become an artist and provided the life-changing advice that she received. And moving on to another great legend, Steve Martin was also an honoree at the ceremony. A lauded actor, television performance, stand-up comic, novelist, essayist, and musician, Martin has shown his range from enduring comedies um, such as The Jerk, and Martin's acceptance speech was both hilarious and heartfelt, reflecting on everything from his beloved family to the gift of working in the movies on a decades-long body of work filled with friends, uh, and as he says, fascinating, funny, and lifelong. Let's take a look at some of what he had to say. Out and rewarded tonight means that that is not true. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is it my imagination or is this year's Oscar ceremony a little on the cheap side? <laughs> I must thank the people who spoke on my behalf tonight. My high school friend, Bill Taylor. Uh, Bill, who, who, by the way, he was a distinguished uh, visual effects artist and cinematographer. Whoever thought we would meet more than 50 years later on such an auspicious stage, congratulations on your life and career too, Bill. And following Bill, <laughs> following Bill, a comedian so renowned and funny whose work has only grown over the years and who never fails to make us laugh in new. He definitely made everyone laugh at the ceremony. And the last honorary Oscar was given to Angela Lansbury, who was introduced by a man she herself felt knew her the most about her uh, in her Hollywood career. That man was Turner Classic Movies' Robert Osborne, who she expressed, when it comes to the art of acting, survival and dedication to one's craft, no one deserves this golden boy more than you. Let's take a look at some of what she had to say. Movies have taken a bit of a back seat since then. Except, of course, for darling Mrs. Potts and Eglantine Price. But in 1984, I came back to Universal uh, City and uh, I stayed around for 12 years and playing Jessica Fletcher in Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> the, the interesting thing is that Murder, She Wrote has given me more worldwide <laughs> attention than any role I ever played in movies or on the stage. And it's a wonderful thing to be known in, you know, in Spain and Portugal and Paris and France and Germany and everywhere. And, uh, you know, to have a whole kind of a worldwide career. That's what television does for you. If you have a hit show, and we did. You know, you can't imagine how happy and proud, indeed, I feel really undeserving of this gorgeous golden chap, and I, I want to thank the Governor's Honorary Oscar from the Academy tonight, and to be here in the company of my beloved family and friends, instead of sitting shivering with hope and then disappointment in Grauman's Chinese Theater in the <laughs> 1940s and 60s, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was just a short bit of an exceptional speech that Lansbury shared. And some of the memories she shared range from getting a job opposite Spencer Tracy to buying a car just like Clark Gable's. And not to mention her recent stage tour opposite James Earl Jones and driving Miss Stacy. Her exclamation upon receiving the award was also a perfect description of the entire evening. As she put it so well, uh, what an incredible moment, she said. And with that said, stay, uh, let's continue on with some moments that I have to share with you. Um, we're going to be talking about some spectacular movies and television news, as always. So let's begin with what movies are on the way to a theater near you. The big news this week is the second installment of the Hunger Games series coming to theaters this weekend. Now, the lines will wrap around theaters and every seat will be filled, and that is just a fact. It's one of the most talked about movies this year, and who could not go see it when Jennifer Lawrence is America's sweetheart? But tonight, I would like to take a look a little bit further down the line, as this is her last show until next year. So let's take a look at some of the movies that will come out during our hiatus. First up, Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. Idris Elba is taking on the iconic role. The movie, which is based on Nelson Mandela's autobiography, is going to hit the big screen November 29th. It will chronicle his life, education, and the 27 years he spent in prison after which he became president. As president, he will work to rebuild the country he loves after segregation broke their society. Justin Chadwick will direct the film. And in other movie news, David O. Russell is at it again. After, after the award-winning Silver Linings Playbook, Russell is coming back with a potentially great film titled American Hustle. The film will be released December 13 and follows con man Ivan Rosenfeld and his new partner Sidney Proser, played by Christian Bale and Amy Adams, respectively, who are focused uh, some of the work on Bradley Cooper's character, FBI agent Richie DiMasso. Uh, the case sends them into a dangerous world full of Jersey power brokers and the mafia. The cast is rounded out by Jeremy Renner and as the mayor of Camden, New Jersey, and Jennifer Lawrence as Irving's wife's Rosalind, who could become the most important person involved in the situation. Let's take a look at the clip. Did you ever have to find a way to survive? I'm running the show. I'm the quarterback. You lost $2 million of taxpayer money? Think. 
about who you are. Do you think I would have taken that money if it wasn't the right thing to do? Good times, bad times, you know I don't have my share. You're gonna do this because you got no choice. You work for me. Rosalind, get off the extension. I'm not on it. Definitely go check it out. And moving on, Ron Burgundy is making his way back onto screens across the globe in Anchorman 2, the sequel and long awaited uh, 2004 film starring Will Ferrell, along with uh, Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, David Koshner, and Christina Applegate, will return for the sequel. While the first film focused on Rise of Rod Burgundy, the sequel starts after the group has gone their separate waves. Hitting rock bottom, the group has glimmer of hope when a 24 hour news channel is established and the eccentric group is put together again to join it. Uh, you can laugh at the antics of Ron Burgundy and company starting December 20th. Let's take a look. We're starting a 24-hour news channel. I'm going to do the thing that God put Ron Burgundy on this earth to do. Have salon quality hair and read the news. The news team is back! Is that your foot between my legs? No. It was my hand. Your hair looks like wet popcorn. I like the parts of your face that are covered with skin. I'm breaking down the barriers of race by assimilation. Am I right? Say what? Anchorman 2, the legend continues. And the legend will continue. It looks hilarious, so definitely go check it out this December. And what screams Christmas more than a movie with an all-star cast? That means Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, Jin Durja Den, Matthew McConaughey, John Burtonthal, and Kyle Chandler. Well, on December 25th, people, you must go see The Wolf of Wall Street on Wall Street. The film centers on a New York stockbroker played by DiCaprio, and the movie focuses on a fraud case involving corruption on Wall Street, the corporate banking world, and the mob infiltration, one that DiCaprio DiCaprio's character refuses to cooperate in, so let's take a look. My name is Jordan Belfort. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week. Was all this legal? Absolutely not. We were making more money than we knew what to do with. I'm doing 500, I'm out of control. But there's nowhere to go. And because enough is never enough in Wall Street, definitely go check it out. And um, I know I will be going to the movies this winter to go see it. But stick around when we come back. We are ta we're taking a look at some TV shows and movies that we have been capturing uh, our attention this fall. So stay with us. Take out meals for just twelve ninety nine. Call now. Sherry Pearson. You are the sole surviving heir of the King of Montanopolis, and you. You are now worth $45 million. I'm rich. This can't be real. Of course it's not real. Come on. Having money isn't about luck. Like that takeout meal. Cook at home instead. You can save thousands a year. Feed me. Feed the pig. The 2013 Lewis B. O'Donnell Media Summit. Moderated by ESPN sports broadcaster and class of 87, Steve Levy. Coming to Waterman Theater November 6th. Stay connected by visiting mediasummit.org for updates. Hi, we're Real Big Fish. And you're watching WTOP10. Like the number. When life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Jose and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org.
Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me. This is The Hollywood View and I'm Carlos Clemens. So let's talk about some of the most exciting TV shows everyone is talking about. For the entire season, we have focused on what has been the best and uh, done the best, and even sometimes the worst in some cases. But because of that, I would like to take a look at some of what my friends and people that work on the show have possibly been watching over the past couple months and really enjoyed. Our first pick came from Amber who chose Bad Grandpa. She called the film awkward, inappropriate, and really funny. It makes things funny like bad parenting that really shouldn't be funny, she said. And the fourth installment of the Jackass film series is a hidden camera comedy film. Uh, it stars Johnny Knoxville and Jackson Nicole. It, it essentially is a steering of pranks and stunts unlike previous Jackass films. And the movie had, had a very loose plot. It revolves around Knoxville's character Irving Sisman, an 86-year-old man who, makes, uh, who takes his grandson, uh, played by Nicole, to Hit, uh, to his father in Relay, North Carolina. So let's take a look because I found this film absolutely hilarious. Thank you for being here today. Oh, 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 oh my oh. God. I'm hungry. Follow my lane. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. You're gonna fix this penguin. If I was fixing it, you'd see me fixing it, but... Did you notice how I wasn't fixing it? Watch out for the penguin, sir. This thing doesn't work. Nothing. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bad Grandpa, rated R, October 25th. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. Uh, and what's next is Arrow uh, on the list, chosen by Alleman, uh, one of our head writers of the show. And the CW action series returned for its second season after an explosive season one finale. Arrow is left its first season a good new show, but this season has become back guns blazing. The show is better than ever, tighter storylines, more compelling characters, plus both developments that keep fans on their toes and enough nuggets for comic book fans, he said. Uh, it stars Stephen Amell, uh, Oliver Queen, uh, the rich play boy who was stuck on a dangerous island for years before returning to his friends and family. The only thing is he returned with a secret. He's, uh, he will save the city as Green Arrow. Um, this season has focused on Oliver trying to transition from Billy Dante hero, not without many complications though, uh, and transitioning back to film. Uh, Thor 2 is the newest film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a great film made incredible by fully flushed out supporting characters and spot on com comedic timing. Olivia, a friend of mine, said don't go see Thor 2 because your obsession with Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston will rekindle. Now I'm not sure what that meant, but the two of the course uh, star in the film as Asgardian brothers and enemies. Thor and Loki, respectively. The film itself focuses on an enemy to Asgard, the, uh, thought to be long dead, coming back to find a strong power source. Problem is, the source has taken over the love of Thor's life, Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman. And lastly, but not least, my personal pick, uh, this season of American Horror Story has definitely drawn me in. The show is an anthology horror series. Each season is its own miniseries focuses, uh, that focuses on a different kind of horror. Uh, this season is titled Coven and follows a group of witches living in a world hundreds of years after the Salem Witch Trials. Uh, the rival between the witches of Salem and voodoo practitioners of New Orleans is reignited when the Salem Witch, uh, played by Jessica Lange, rescues Kathy Bay's serial killer Delphine Lalari from the grave uh, he was put in uh, with an incredible cast made of Jessica Lane, Angela Bassett, Kathy Bates, Francis Cattrall, Dennis O'Hara, just to name a few. I call this season disturbing, imaginative, imaginative, and incredibly intense. I can hardly wait each week to see it, uh, especially Jessica Lane. Uh, but thank you for, uh, stay tuned because when we come back, we're going to take a look at some of my favorite stuff. The forest is precious. One careless act caused by people and its beauty could be gone for a lifetime. Protect our friends in the forest. Only you can prevent wildfires. Attention students and faculty. Avery Rental Properties is now renting for the next school year. Avery accommodates all group sizes, small or large. Avery Rental Properties, make our house your home. 24-hour maintenance, garbage removal, snow removal, and off-street parking. Avery Rental Properties, 315-343-5005.
Hi, I'm Al Roker, class of 76, Oswego State University. You're watching WTOP Channel 10. We didn't have this when I was in school. We just had radio and smoke signals. No, I know it's Thursday, but who cares? No, 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 believe me. I, I know, believe me. I have a hundred people going around me. No, 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 all right, bye. What is this, what is this, what is this? There's no one here, there's no one here. Where is everybody? Hello? Is anybody home? Nice house party tonight. Jesus, what the hell is this? Where can everybody be on a Thursday night? There's no one here. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Carlos Clemens and you're watching The Hollywood View. So continuing on with TV, with both the global simulcast of Doctor Who 50th anniversary episode and the release of The Hunger Games Catching Fire happening in the next few days, it's far from the greatest surprise to see someone mash the two fan favorite franchises together. But Brand Hansen's The Doctor Games offers more than just the initial blush of recognition. There's a video online that is more of a who lover's dream than an Easter egg hunt for Hunger Games fans. It recreates part of the trailer for Catching Fire and plays off familiar tropes uh, from the Ya series while going deeper in who lore. But there's enough to enjoy in the video for fans of both franchises. Let's take a look. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight and a half or something, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. He's become a beacon of hope for the universe. He must be exterminated! The Doctor is a symbol. It's not necessary to destroy him, just his image. Captain the TARDIS, round up all 13 versions of the Doctor. We'll pit them against each other in a fight to the death. There will be no regenerations. <laughs> they just want a good show, sweetie. That's all they want. River, there's 13 of us. Only one comes out. They have the TARDIS and only the Victor can fly away. Thirteen? Well, twelve and a half. What we do, we do without choice. Ooh, I like when he turns around like that. Very dramatic. Oh, I know, right? Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Let the Doctor Games commence! Wait! Violence has never been the answer! We have to work together! Dibs on the laser gun! Geronimo! Just this once, everybody dies. So there was some way to show them they don't own me. I'm gonna die. I still wanna be me. Thirsty? Care for a jelly, baby. 
just spin them out. I can't. That was definitely a spoof, but stick around when we come back. I'm telling you about a very special project that I'm involved with. Stay tuned. Um, did you know that the shower uses about seven gallons of water a minute? I did not. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Speaking of which, I gotta go shower now. <laughs> The 2013 Lewis B. O'Donnell Media Summit. Moderated by ESPN sports broadcaster and class of 87, Steve Levy. Coming to Waterman Theater November 6th. Stay connected by visiting mediasummit.org for updates. Attention students and faculty, Avery Rental Properties is now renting for the next school year. Avery accommodates all group sizes, small or large. Avery Rental Properties, make our house your home. 24 hour maintenance, garbage removal, snow removal, and off street parking. Avery Rental Properties, 315 343 5005. Thanks for joining me back. Uh, welcome back to the Hollywood View. I'm Carlos. And before I leave you, we have to talk about a play which I happen to be part of titled Wait Until Dark. This season is the honors production here uh, at Oswego. And Wait Until Dark is about a recently blinded woman who is terrorized by a trio of thugs while they search for a heroin stuffed doll they believe is in her apartment in Greenwich Village. Uh, the cast includes Nate McKenzie Roy, who plays Mike Tellman, Jesse Lesnar, who plays Harry Road, Max Fern as Sergeant Carlinone, who runs into a much more than he bargained for. Uh, Susie, played by Michaela Hollins, um, and also Nick Williams, Alex Greenwell, and myself. But um, definitely go check it out. It previews tonight, uh, $5. The 1966 play is by Dana Ernest. But thank you so much for joining me this season. It's been a blast from the entire team. Uh, have a great night and a great uh, holiday season. Until next time. <laughs>